Good morning, little spirits. Welcome. It is Sunday, February the 13th, the sixth Sunday in Ordinary Time. And here we see, who do we see? We see Jesus, right? And he's talking to all these people. Now I have another picture to show you. Jesus is on top of a mountain. Yeah, he's on top of a mountain. So these people have all climbed up to listen to Jesus, right? And here's Jesus. You can see part of the rocks of the mountain and all these people are paying attention. It's a very, very special um, teaching and it's called the Sermon on the Mount, right? It's the teaching on the mountain. And we see that they're listening very, very carefully. And what Jesus is teaching them is so important. It's not only important for these people to hear, it's important for you and me. So I'm excited, boys and girls, to share you with you this beautiful, beautiful reading from the Bible, right? So let's get started, boys and girls, and let's do our prayers. Now this week, I want us to pray a Hail Mary. We've been praying a Hail Mary for a long time, right, boys and girls? And remember when I told you in the rosary, there's 53 Hail Marys that you can say, and this is a crucifix. But you know what, boys and girls, we will say a Hail Mary today and we'll also talk to Jesus because Jesus wants to have a relationship with you. Just like you talk to mom and dad and your brothers and sisters, Jesus wants to talk to us. So let's get started in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus, come be with us today. Give us your love, your guidance, your protection. Help us grow our faith. Help us to be all you want us to be today. Help us in everything that we say or do or think. And keep us all protected. And come be with us this morning and the rest of the week. Every minute of every day, Lord. We ask this in your name, Jesus. Thank you for listening. Thank you for all our blessings. Amen. In the name of the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, boys and girls, as I mentioned, I showed you this beautiful picture of Jesus on top of a mountain. And he's telling them something very important. And what he's telling them is important to us, too. So, let's get started. And by the way, boys and girls, at the end, we're going to talk about this picture. And this is a boy. And this is a girl. Okay. So we're talking about happiness. Who likes to be happy? Absolutely. We all want to be happy. Well, the story that Jesus tells us on top of that mountain is about how to be happy. Now that's pretty exciting, isn't it, boys and girls? Yeah, let's get started. So, Jesus was at the top of a mountain, as I said, and there was a large crowd, lots and lots of people were there. And they gathered to listen to Jesus, who sat down and Jesus began to speak. Happy are the poor, for their riches are stored in heaven. Happy are the hungry, because God will take care of all their needs. All who weep and are sad will know uh, only joy and laughter. Be happy when people are cruel or unkind because you follow me, for your reward will be great in heaven. Wow, this is amazing. So Jesus says, happy are the poor, those that don't have much, because there's riches and great things for you in heaven. Happy are those that are hungry. Whoever is here hungry. Maybe you didn't have breakfast right away. Do you get hungry? It's terrible to be hungry, isn't it? Well, Jesus says he's going to give you and take care of everything you need. And he says when people are not kind to you because you believe in me, he will take very, very good care and give you great things. So this special teaching that Jesus does. It's on top of a mountain, right? And it's called the Sermon on the Mount. Let's say that together. The Sermon on the Mount. 
Can you say it? The Sermon on the Mount. Very good. It's very famous. And we think about this because Jesus tells us so many great things. He tells us, happy are those that are poor, happy are those that are hungry, and happy those that are sad because he's going to help us, right? Always. And you know the simplest prayer to get of that help is we just say the word Jesus. Let's say it together. Jesus. When we say that, we say, come Jesus, help us. He's always there. He's always knocking at our door, wanting to help us. We just have to invite him in. Isn't that amazing? We have to lean on Jesus. In other words, trust Jesus. So what he is saying to be truly happy is not about all the things not about the clothes or the toys. It's about loving God. And then when we fill ourselves with God, we are so full that we need to share it with others. And then when we share it with others, it makes they start feeling happy and then their share of God's love back. And we feel even happier than we started. So yes, we need to have good clothes and we need toys and we need to have food and a bed and all those nice things. But those things of the world, they don't really make us happy forever. The thing that really makes us happy all the time is God. Have a great week, boys and girls. And Jesus makes us happy. I don't know if you can see this. I'll hold this up again. Who makes us happy? Jesus makes us happy. And so, boys and girls, I'm going to put this in the Word document and beside this video, and you'll be able to color yourself in and draw yourself. Have a great week. Bye for now.